right, what's up, Outlaws? How is everybody today? So I thought I'd go down the list here, and I might pull people in as I go down the list answering some of your questions, okay? First question, um, and, and my buddy James Jaeger's here. He will jump in from time to time if he so feels. And uh, boom, there he goes. <laughs> so the first one is, as a black male from the U.S., an NRA instructor certified but no military background how how hard would it be for me to help first off nobody cares what color you are um i i would say i i don't know if you if you found a group that you could plug into and you had the skills that they wanted which is basically on an ak um an ak-74 um you know, if you have a spot, then it'd be great. These people need to be trained. Great people in Ukraine. A lot of them have never touched a gun before. Um, but this isn't like an American thing. This is like a a, an, a war. And so it's they're fighting with, with AK-74. So they're not even doing that yet. But that's the gun that they're getting. They don't even get pistols. Um, what would you say to that, James? Um, if, if all you have is a... NRA certification, there's no place for you here. You just don't have the depth of knowledge that will be useful. And that's not me trying to be an asshole. And so that guy, um, the guy that asked that question, to show you, I, I, I mean, no ill, come and take my fighting pistol class for free. So if you email him tactical response, you can take his fighting pistol class for free. Yeah, I mean, it's a war. It's not an American gunfight. The to, to somebody else who wrote, I support Russia, but not Ukraine. Man, you say that because you are not here. They're, Russia is killing babies. They're killing old people. They're killing, they're killing everybody indiscriminately. They're picking a town and they're grid bombing it, killing everybody and everything inside just because they want to take over just because they decide they want to own it. So now while you're saying that, I want you to think about if this was America and Canada or Mexico decided they were going to just start carpet bombing us because they wanted to take over. You saying that I think is a a political mindset that they've given us, um, or maybe you're just a commie, but it, I think it's a political mindset. And you were right on the other end though. Um, I don't post from outside because this isn't a game and like in the United States, nothing really that bad ever happens to you. I understand some people, but this really isn't a game. And they already killed um, an entire, they've killed entire groups of people over them giving out their location. It's not a game. <clears throat> Am I able to get through the Polish customs with scopes and optics? I don't know what type of optics you're asking for. Is it thermals or whatever? The answer is yes. Polish customs. U.S. Customs goes through all of your shit, everything. They go through everything. And they didn't stop us with anything that I brought. I don't know what specifically you want, but if you wanted to bring scopes or night vision or whatever, you can bring it. Polish Customs didn't look at all, and they don't care. What I don't know is on the way back. I literally have no idea what that's going to be like on the way back. Um, but on the way here, whatever you want to bring, um, you can bring. And there's all kinds of stuff, except for guns. I don't think you can actually bring a gun, but... Scopes, optics, night vision, you can bring that. Just understand you may not get it back. What process did I go through? I tried but never heard back. <clears throat> um, James had an alumni here that um, is not local to the area, but uh, his his family is. And, and he was here since the start of it. And he called us and said he could use help. Or he called us, said he was going, and then we said, can we help? And I don't know who you haven't heard back from because I haven't done that process. So um, that's how we got here. Do they actually allow volunteers to fight with the Ukrainian army or do they limit it to training? Yeah, they, yeah. Lex will come over here and answer this. Well, yeah, definitely. We see um, more than few volunteers fight um, next to Ukrainians. So answer is yes. Um, but again, depends where you are and which group you're going to be um, taken with. That, that that means a lot. Yeah, that, that that so not all groups are fighting groups. Some of them are support groups. Some of them are getting ready to be fighting groups. There's a lot of different stages of people here. Um, computer nerds. Some are computer nerds. I mean, yeah, I mean, legit, like, 
What's the best word? Hacker. <laughs> Hacker. <yeah. laughs> so you self explain Yeah, you, this is these guys are um, you know, there's every level of a war is here. Where do you fit in? I, I don't know. But <clears throat> do you want to go get in this war and fight? Like, are you saying, hey, can I come here and get on the front lines and go fight? Right now, the war is a mortar war. So they're 4,500 meters away from you. Like, you can't see them. Like, you can't even see them with binoculars. And they're watching you with a drone, and, and Ukraine's watching them with a drone, and they're bombing each other. So basically, if you came over here right now and you got all your stuff, you got your AK, you got your RPGs, you got everything ready, you're going to stand there and try to dodge bombs as they come down and hit you. This isn't a gunfight <laughs> like this right now. It's just not right. Yeah, most like, yeah, the mostly that's exactly what I see. There, there's, there, there are contacts, right? Like, you know, firefights, but... Oh, yeah. Vast majority of artillery all day. We're able to get long-range gear in-country. I wasn't able to get it here. I didn't bring it here. I didn't come to support that role. Um, but they do have it here. To be, you know, kind of cool is I've, I've found the, a company that builds their long-range rifles, and they got an HS Precision 338 Lopal here, which is cool. Mary Opal right now, what was our latest update that we got? I mean, they're in a very poor shape right now. Um they're getting heavy, heavy over there. So again, um, big part of city has been you know, not all, but they're standing, they're standing strong, but they're they're not having a, you know. I, I think we heard there was like, two thousand yeah. Ukrainians there versus fifteen thousand Russians, right? Yeah, yeah, that was our um, estimates. Yeah, but again, um, so support is going there. Nobody knows from which side. But it's heading that way, so they're going to be getting support definitely. But we do think, but Russians will be surprised. Nobody knows from which way though. But it's going to be a surprise definitely. Now the Azov guys, we have now talked to. We have literally asked everybody, is it a Nazi battalion? So again, that's false. That's majority of like stupid. yeah, it's like whoever would that, whatever you guys are getting that from. I promise it's false news and it's dumb. Yeah, Talk about the Z. What the Z means? I don't remember the Z. You tell us. So, yep. No, no, that's fine. You're fine. So the the Z with the line through it is turned sideways. That is a Finnish hunting symbol of some sort. And one of the guys Finnish. painted... Huh? Finnish, right? Yeah, yeah, Finnish. And one of the guys painted that on tape. It's about hunting. It's not, it's not a swastika. And so I don't understand why... So and, yeah, and, and, and <clears throat> sorry, and in this case, I think it meant hunting German uh, Russians. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. yeah, that would make sense, right? They were saying, "Hey, yeah, we again, did this is in, a, in a group, Russians. right?" There, there's a group. It's going to be some young ones who's going to be, hey, from different ways, maybe commies, Nazis, whoever, and that it will stain the whole group because of like few members. I understand, like yeah, that's. But as as talking about group, the whole thing. No, they are not representing that, and do, they do not subscribe that to to that ideology. That's just we meet these people, we talk to them like that, and we talk to people that has been in Azov since two thousand fourteen. Here's the next thing that I had. All right, like Ukraine isn't corrupt. How about staying home and helping some of the millions of your own that need help? So I'm here in Ukraine and I'm helping these guys. Why don't you help the millions at home? That's a really good idea, huh? I put my business off and my job off and my life off to help them. So maybe you can do that and help whoever you think it is at home that needs help. I didn't see that you got Bundy Ranch with me. Yeah. Were you at Bundy Ranch with James? Because that was at home. Yeah. I'm, 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 th that is such a cop out of you not having the balls to do something. And then the second one is I'm going to let everybody answer this that wants to come in and answer this. Mr. Powers it seems like everything I'm putting up is fake and I'm staging all of this. I could be on the side of a church filming and telling you guys this and telling you guys to give donations to help Ukrainians and everything I'm doing is fake. Dude, what a freaking joke. First off, this isn't a joke. I, I literally can't tell you where I'm at and I'm not going to post it because then I'll get people killed. I know at your house, it's okay, it's a joke, but... Here, it's really not a joke. The, the Russians are smart, and they do have cruise missiles. And when you fuck up here, you die. Okay. Secondly, Lexo, come tell them how fake we are. Lexo, tell them. I mean, just tell them what. Like, Some of that Russian number. First, talk to them in, a, in, in a, your language. I, yeah, it, I, yeah, and I really don't want to 
answering waste time. Tell the truth that people do it. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> now again, we no, have sacrificed them, a lot, right? Them, to tell them in your language. Yeah, tell them in your language. Uh, with Georgian. Speak. Uh, yeah. Georgian. Georgians have no, no questions like that. Speak to them in your language, <laughs> not English. He is fucking retarded. <laughs> This is our, our interpreter, translator. Sometimes he's an interpreter, sometimes he's a translator. But let me just tell you guys, it's, this isn't a joke. But I really don't care if you don't believe me. You know, if you don't believe it, just why Why are you here? Just unsubscribe. I don't really care. All right. So, oh, the World War III thumbnail. I, I don't care if you like the World War III thumbnail either, because pay attention. All this takes right now is for NATO to get involved. And it's just so close. And it is World War III. So I'm pushing it up as a um, as a whole overview that this could possibly be World War III. And if you don't like it. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. All right, guys. So that's it. Do me a favor. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. If you want to see more, go to Patreon. I'm posting more stuff on Patreon. And if you want to see more, go there and look. Because you're in it for the cash grab. Because I'm in it for the cash grab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you guys were asking, what? why Why am I not donating this money to um, the Ukrainian Red Cross or something? Here's why. Because the money that we have collected so far is going to training here and actual on the ground. Nobody's making salary. Nobody's making money off of it. Like, it's going for here. We're trying to keep our SIM cards running. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not a joke. Anyway. All right. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Outlaw. Outlaw.